guys, uh, so today I have a review video for you. Uh, in case you haven't noticed, I'm pretty dressed up today, but more so than you can imagine, I'm going to show you. Uh, I'm going to like a goth night tonight and I thought I'd do this kind of space age thing. You might have seen in my closet tour that uh, I was making a PVC dress, a clear glittery PVC dress. Well, that's what I'm wearing tonight and I'll just show you it. So it's this glittery PVC and I've stuck on rhinestone stars around the bust and then I'm just wearing like silver short shorts and a bandeau top. And then I've got glittery jelly shoes on and I've got a little glittery handbag. So that's kind of uh, what's going on tonight. Uh, so it's pretty uh, intense. Uh, I don't usually dress up this much, but you know, you only live once. So have fun and enjoy yourself. So I made the outfit and I'm going to wear it. Anyway, uh, I'll get on with my review. So as many of you know, uh, I've been a long-term fan of... Lime Crime. Uh, I first bought the original lot of Lime Crime lipsticks around two years ago or maybe even more uh, and I absolutely fell in love with them. I've, I've always been a big fan of Lime Crime. I know that they did come up with some kind of, you know, criticism in the past and I chose to ignore it and just go ahead and purchase from them and I've only ever had great experiences with Lime Crime. I love all their products. I love their customer service. I just uh, love the aesthetic behind the brand and the kind of feel behind the brand. So uh, I've got a whole bunch of new products to show you here for you today. And these are products that I've been, I've had for a little while and I just haven't got around to reviewing them. So today I'm going to do that. Now the first lot of new products that I got were the eyeliners, the uni liners. And these are these amazing opaque liquid liners that come in a bunch of really cool bright colours. And I bought all of them except for the gold and silver ones because I already had kind of something similar. Uh, they come in packaging like this, just a really cute little box. And something I will say is that their packaging has definitely improved over the years. Like now it comes in a mailing box like this, which is really cute. And uh, the packaging for the uni liners looks like that. So I'm going to run through the colours and show you a swatch of each. Luna C is just a opaque white liquid liner. The second one is Sixth Element and that's obviously taken from the bright orange hair kind of deal. So I really love that one and it looks really cool with my orange hair. So that's Sixth Element. The third one is Citrus and that's pretty much just like a true uh, chartreuse colour. So a really yellowy green and that's probably actually my favourite one. It's such a unique colour for a liquid liner. The fourth is so gorgeous as well. It's called Blue Milk and it's just a really light baby blue liquid liner. The fifth is Lazuli and that's just like a navy kind of but quite bright blue. The sixth is Orchidaceous and that's just a violet colour. And the seventh is Quill and that's just a really really intense black liquid liner. So as you can see from the swatches, you know, these liquid liners are very intense. They're not for the faint of heart. But in saying that, they're so easy to use. They've got this really easy to use uh, brush tip, uh, which flows on really easily, uh, just like that. It's very thin, so you can get a lot of detail in, which is fantastic. Uh, daily, I use the Quill liquid liner. I love it because it is the most intense black liquid liner I've ever used. A lot of the ones I use I find tend to look a bit grey because they don't come on completely opaque. But this one is just like their lipsticks. It's so uh, intense and pigmented. Uh, they are, you know, they're not foolproof as in, you know, you have to have a steady hand because they are so intense. So I've worn them all day and I haven't had any issue with them smudging or creasing. So getting on with the subject of smudging and creasing, I thought I'd talk about my next product. The next thing I'm talking about is Lime Crimes Eyeshadow Helper. And now this has been coveted by a lot of people. Uh, there was a lot of excitement for this to come out. And I'm using it today on my eyes. Uh, so I just find it's such a great base. The colour that I also have on today, my eyes, is from, an eye, from a palette that I'm going to be showing you later in the video. My lips are, no she didn't, from a Lime Crime lipstick that I got quite a long time ago. And my liquid liner is the Quill uh, Lime Crime liner. So underneath my eyeshadow today I have this on. So 
The eyeshadow helper by Lime Crime basically is like a cream and it looks a bit like a concealer. It's just like a nude neutral colour. So it blends out really smoothly and it just basically just goes on really easily. There is so much in this which is fantastic, like 10 grams of product is so much. Uh, why I love it, it makes my ma my makeup pretty much waterproof, uh, it makes my makeup stay on all day, I wear a lot of really bright coloured eyeshadow so it's important that it doesn't fall down my face and move and also it intensifies the colour so again if you're wearing, you wear bright coloured uh, eyeshadows like I do, it's a fantastic product. So I really really recommend the eyeshadow helper by Lime Crime. They're really a specialist when it comes to really bright opaque colours so it makes sense that they've made an amazing eyeshadow helper. The next thing I'm going to talk about is one of uh, Lime Crime's fantasy palettes. Now they've come out with quite a lot of fantasy palettes. They come in a gold box like this and I love them. They all have a different theme behind them like this one that's kind of a mermaid themed. They've got a Marie Antoinette themed one and the one that I'm going to be showing you today is the China Doll palette and it's packaging looks like this and inside this little thing came over the top of it uh, they're kind of I guess oriental inspired kind of colors uh, I I love the colors and I love how they've um, printed on there like what they look like so this one is fly dragonfly fly it's pretty hard to say. Uh, this one is Parasol, this one's Goldfish, this one's Jade Olaid, and this one is Lotus Noir. So the blue one is what I've got on my eyes today, and as you can see, it's very bright, it's very intense. Um, I'm just going to do a one swipe with my fingers so you can see how intense the colours are. So that's the black, one swipe. So no surprise there, very intense pigmented colour. The next one is the Jade. I didn't really have a jade eyeshadow so I was really happy to pick that up and it is a matte formula. Uh, the next one is the goldfish and that is a metallic yellowy gold. Uh, the next one is the blue which you've already seen is on my eyes today and then is the fly dragonfly fly and that's the kind of main reason I got that one because I don't I didn't have a true red colour in my palette and I, I really like red. I kind of want to do a geisha inspired makeup tutorial which I've already kind of done but I haven't uh, made a video about it and I think the red eyeshadow just looks amazing with it. It's also really cool as a cheek colour so yeah that is the China Doll palette by Lime Crime. Now the last product I have to show to you today is the Carousel Glosses and these are actually my favourite new thing that's come out from Lime Crime. Uh, I'm not a big lip gloss person at all. Uh, if you watch my videos you probably know that it's very rare that I actually buy lip glosses. So for me to um, have two of these, uh, you know, it's not usual of me but these are just Lime Crime's different because if they make a lip gloss it's not just a lip gloss. It is very intense color. It's a very amazing payoff and they're just like no other. Uh, the packaging looks like this and it's kind of carousel inspired I guess and I absolutely love the packaging on the carousel glosses. Uh, so I've got two here. I've got Hologram which is the green and again the packaging is absolutely amazing and then I've got Present which is just this kind of purpley kind of color. I actually have photos of me wearing these so I will put them in the end of the video but I will show you some swatches of them. So that one is Hologram and that one is Present and I mean the green I guess you could see as kind of unwearable but to me you can kind of rock any colour. Uh, the way that I've worn it before is with a green wig. You could also kind of maybe wear some green clothing or you could save it for Christmas time and wear it in crisp at Christmas which would be really cool. Present is obviously a lot more of a wearable colour, it's this kind of berry colour and they're really nice because I, you can kind of use it as a bit of a stain or you can really really lacquer it on like I do and have this really intense glossy uh, plum colour. So I really love the Lime Crime Carousel Glosses. Uh, so I guess that's all that there is from me today. It's a, I guess a pretty fast video, just a few products that I'm loving right now. Uh, I can't hype on enough about Lime Crime, I always love their products. Uh, another thing I'm really wanting to try out soon is their Velveteens because I've heard fantastic things about those. So that'll probably be the next thing I'm investing in. If you guys have any questions at all about Lime Crime, the products, uh, things I've mentioned today or other Lime Crime products, 
products that you've seen in my videos, feel free to just post your questions in the comment box below and I'll speak to you guys soon.